Hi, welcome. Welcome to Tableau 9.3 Data Analysis with Mahesh. My name is Mahesh Guram and I have extensive experience with data analytics. I have been in this field for about 12 years now, involved with a lot of Fortune 500 companies, including Wall Street giants to small retailers across the world. I have worked with a lot of Tableau implementations on how Tableau can revolutionize the way you're looking at your data. Tableau is one of the great tools to visualize your data, which means going uh, connecting to your data and looking at it in a totally different perspective. Dashboarding is something that a lot of companies are really interested in and would change the way you would look at your data. In my process of 12 years of data analytics, I have been working with extensive amount of data from gigabytes to terabytes. Right now I'm working with petabytes amount of data. The challenge with analytics, especially with Tableau or any visualization tool, is you have so much amount of data to be represented in a small pictorial form. So the more and more data you have, the more and more problematic it will become for you to use one screen to represent it. That's where dashboarding comes very helpful and it kind of helps everyone see different pictures of the same data. As I said earlier, right now I'm working as a Tableau consultant for a few Fortune 500 companies where I work with them on a regular basis to see how they can improve their Tableau implementations or what they can do to get the best out of their implementation. So let's now talk about who should attend this course and any prerequisites for this course. This course basically requires some understanding of basic statistics, which means you need to understand what, uh, what you mean by sum, average, median, and stuff like that. So that understanding would great help in this course. The next one we would need is basic understanding of graphs and different types of graphs. So this would really help because we are not going into detail on what each type of graph is, rather we would go into detail on how we can use different graphs to represent the same underlying data. In this course, we will be using the sample store data set that is given to us by Tableau and we will see how we can use different graphs to use this data. The next one is we need to understand the data that you would like to analyze. As I said earlier, in this case, we would be using the Superstore data set that is given by Tableau, but I would recommend whichever data set is your, you want to analyze, I would recommend you downloading it or having a connection to it in a development environment or elsewhere and kind of connecting to the data because you know that data the best. So I would recommend you to understand what is the data you are analyzing. And you would definitely need some basic mathematics because we would basically drill down into some of the mathematical calculations as part of our Tableau projects. So I would definitely say that would be something that you would need. That's all we would need. And now let's look at what to expect from this course. After this course, you would be able to talk to anyone about Tableau, how it is useful, what is data analytics and how it is useful. So that would be something you would be really good at in doing. You would be able to install Tableau and talk about different products of Tableau. Then you would work, be, you would be able to work with different visualizations. As I said earlier, you would have the same data underlining, but you would represent it in different formats. You would be in a position to build dashboards. Dashboards are a great way to show a lot of information in a small space. And you would be able to do your Tableau certification because we will be working towards it and we will aim our course towards completing the Tableau certification. So the agenda for this course, we would have this course divided into seven sections. The first section we will talk about introduction where we will talk about what, how do we install Tableau? Why, why do we need Tableau? And we will get a first look at Tableau in the sense we will just take the sample data set store and quickly generate few reports in a matter of 
five to 10 minutes. That way you know how powerful and how quick Tableau is. In the second section, we will talk about graphs and charts. In this section, we will basically talk about the pie graph, the bar graph, the line graph, and then we will talk about maps. Maps are a very great tool in Tableau where you can plot your sales across, across the United States map. For that matter, you can do it across the world. And then we will talk about the box and visco plots. And in section three is where we will talk about manipulation of the data. In the sense, this is where we will add some new metadata to the existing data that we have in our sources. In this case, we will talk about sorting, we will talk about filtering, we will talk about groups, we will talk about set hierarchies, we will talk about totals and subtotals, and we will also talk about percentages. After that, we will talk about how to add new columns, which are calculated fields, where we talk about aggregating data ratios, how to, how to do distinct counts, like you might have want to do a distinct count, and if you have any if-else statements, how to add those, and also any string functions. This is where we will add some new columns, which are calculated fields. In the section five, we will talk about combining data sets. This is where we will see if we have multiple data sources, how do we join both of them, if they are of the same type or if they are of different types, how do you know we kind of get into both the data and drill down very much detail. And in section six, we will talk about in detail about our qualified associate certification preparation, what we need to do and how we can use that. We will have three reviews. We will have a first problem and then we will review it. We will have second problem, we will review it, then we will have a third problem and we will review it. And in section seven, that's where we will talk about our final project. We will talk about how to how to build a portfolio for yourself and how to you know use publicly available data to do some awesome projects. So that's all about the introduction, the prerequisites and what we will be covering in the course. So I would love to see you in the course and let's explore Tableau together. Thanks and have a nice one. Bye.